Hello, Magical Mommy. It is Magical Monday, and the card for this week is Ritual. So with the Ritual card, um, there's so many aspects to Ritual. We're going to talk about a couple of them right now, and um, I'm going to read the back of the card, and then I'll dive in a little bit deeper into it. Rituals are activities that are created with intention. Create activities in your life intentionally and your life becomes more intentional. Life opens up with opportunities by seeking moments of mindfulness and intention. Write down a list of habits and daily, weekly, and seasonal activities. Create mindful intentions to each of them, transforming them into moments of magic. So with rituals, there's so many aspects to it. Um, in the blog that I wrote, I talk about how I intentionally created a few different aspects. My favorite is my weekly bath ritual, um, where I created such a beautiful intention of mindfulness and meditation and just creating that time to be completely inspired. Um, and my and the whole setup, the whole actual um, time that I'm in the bath and then after is very intentional. It's, it feels different than any other part of my week when I'm preparing to um, be in the bath. And then while I'm in the bath, it's, it's very intentional. Um, intentionally created to um, kind of be inspired or downloaded through or used or just opened up to be in this space. The other ritual that was very intentional in creating was um, and is uh, my kids' bedtime ritual. And their bedtime ritual um, yes, it has brushing teeth in it and getting jammies on. And, you know, sometimes those actually don't happen. But um, the story, the story that gets told and the meditation that is being, that is told to guide them into relaxing and um, those things are always done. Um, and sometimes it's with a story, sometimes with, it's with me talking, but, um, sorry, they, um, they get told, and I, in the blog that I wrote this week um, that got sent out in the email, um, there is a link for um, some resources, some free magical mothering um, tools and resources, and um, there's, a, there's two ebooks in there right now, and then a meditation, and one of the ebooks is um, that in detail. I give a, um, a snippet or I give a, um, a story that I would tell them. Um, and this was written back in summer solstice or winter solstice. So I give uh, an example of what the story would sound like um, for that evening. And then um, the guided meditation that I lead my kids on and how I end in positive affirmation of prayer. And, um, this is just what we do. It's an example, but I, I urge you to create rituals in your life that help ground you, that pull you in and bring you back into the moment. Um, and, you know, you get into these, and so often they become just routine. We do them, and we don't even have to think about them anymore. And that's good and bad. The good part is, is that you're intentionally living. It's because you've created these intentions, your whole life becomes very intentional. And then it can be bad because then you don't even have to think about it. You don't have to connect anymore. You don't have to like, it just becomes route, root, route. Um, it becomes, you know, just what it is. So, by creating the intention that you will be in the moment during all of these is another aspect of ritual. Stay in the moment. 
stay present. And um, I want to go through, um, I want to go through what I call um, the, the aspects of a ritual. So creating rituals sets the intention each time we perform them so we get consistent results. And that's what I was telling about, um, like with my bath night. It's very intentional to be inspired. It's very intentional to be in meditation. It's very intentional to connect with source, spirit, God, whatever you're the name that you choose to use. It's very intentional for me to do that on this evening. So it has a very sacred feel to it. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I was on the wrong page. Um, so creating rituals, implementing them into your life. I say it's a four-step process. And the first step is to ask yourself, what do I really want? What do you really want? What habit? Um, if you have something in your life right now that no longer serves you, if there's a habit or something that you're doing every day that you're going, oh, I don't want to be doing this all the time. I don't like, this doesn't feel good. Um, what do you want instead? Maybe, um, maybe you do something in the morning that just doesn't, it doesn't flow. It feels really out of, it kind of just got started and you're not interested in doing that. And you, really want to start out the morning just being with your kids, sitting and playing and just being, connecting with them. Um, you would ask yourself what you want. And then you would describe what and how it looks like in detail. And then imagine yourself doing them and doing all of these things in this new ritual. Have every component, how it feels, how it looks, how it sounds, how it tastes, how it smells and make sure to, you know, remind yourself that you will be in that moment. Find a way to support yourself in this new ritual. You can hop on the Magical Mothering Facebook group and say, hey, everybody, I created a new ritual. I would love some um, support and reminder with these. And um, I think this week, especially just in the Magical Mothering group, I will be um, posting daily so that we can implement and remember to practice our new rituals every day um, if they're part of our daily life. Um, otherwise, if they're a weekly thing, put them on the calendar. Um, make, make, them, make them into your life. And then um, the final thing is know what the final results of creating this ritual will look like. What are your kids doing? How does this, you know, how does it make you guys feel now that you've gotten this into your life? Um, you know, I, uh, a couple weeks ago, they were going almost a month now, I actually cut my hand open and I got stitches all in my hand. And um, as I was sitting in the emergency room, I went, what? cause this because this isn't the intention this isn't the final outcome that I actually was thinking about and I went oh I actually had been thinking about man I need a couple hours to myself and I got it I manifested it by sitting in the emergency room waiting to get stitches in my hand but I wasn't clear on the intention that I was setting and so we get really clear on what you want it to really look like because the universe will fill in you know, whatever you ask for, but it might not be exactly how you want. So now I'm very clear of, okay, I need a couple hours to myself and I want it to be surrounded in nature and I feel very peaceful and I'm healthy and um, you know, I get fill in all the details because I don't want the universe filling in details for me. I want to be the creator and the co-creator of my life. I want to lead the life and have it look how my highest vision is. And because we will always get what we ask for. Know that. You always get what you ask for. 
So what are you asking for? You're saying, man, my life is so crazy. My life is so chaotic. My life is always so messy. You asked for that. You are saying this and repeating this and actually bringing this into consciousness. So create rituals with intention. Be intentional about your life. And you'll get consistent results. Um, so creating rituals. Let's um, hop into the Facebook group and, and really support each other. What is your, what is your ritual that you want to create? What is, what is it that you want to transpire in your life right now? Get intentional. Really dream. You know, there's a saying... Um, and it's, don't dream so small that you actually achieve that goal. Dream so big that, you know, it, it actually takes some time. Um, start dreaming big, start dreaming big that your life can be as magical as you could possibly dream it. Wow. Yeah. You know, and, and it, and it'll get there. And every day you'll be like, oh my God. Wow, this is so amazing. I actually live this life. I actually live with happy, content kids and a husband that I'm in love with and, you know, a home that I love being in. I actually live this life. Be intentional. Create a life of your wildest dreams and actually envision it in the positive and happening now so the universe can deliver it. Peace and blessings to you, and I look so forward to hearing about all of your beautiful rituals that are going to be created 